All right, everybody. So let's get to the cooking part of the show. Let's hope that crook uh, stays where he's got to stay, and I can do my job by proving the old lady wrong. Now, so so to prove the old lady wrong, what I'm going to do, what I'm showing you right now, are my steps into proving her wrong. So my first step here was to pick out my, of course, my fruit. Or actually, I can't even say it's fruit because. I don't know. Maybe I should have done some homework, but I didn't. Okay. Apricot, acorn, squash, carrot, garlic, onion, and this is what I'm going to make my meal with. Now for spices, what I'm going to use, chili powder, honey, Italiano and my famous extra virgin olive oil. Okay, and how we're gonna do this? First, I'm gonna show you. So you cut your acorn. You know, I say acorn because it is a, a acorn um, uh, squash. So you take your squash. And I'm just gonna show you here. So we take our squash. See, I'm left-handed. This is going to be funny to show you. And you scoop out all the seeds. Now, for myself, I like pumpkin seeds. So, I, you know, I could save this and have myself a snack for later. But, to be honest, uh, after I cook this meal and prove the old lady what? Wrong. Uh, I'll be too tired and too much time for gloating and uh, too busy getting my just rewards for cooking her a fantastic meal. I'm just going to throw this stuff in the garbage. Now, I've already washed my hands. You want to make sure you wash your hands. So you take there. Okay. Now you take upside down. And make sure your knife is very sharp. And I, ha I have a really sharp knife. Because it's very hard to cut. So I like to cut off the end pieces. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut about an inch Half moons. So I don't know if you can see that. But look how nice that looks. Look how beautiful that will cook. That's beautiful. I'll show you in a moment. I'll do a couple more. Oh yeah, that's going to be beautiful. And just look at that. Think of that. On top of, well just like so. Like so, you know, a few more, add a few more in there, right on top of your stir fry. Oh, that sounds like heaven to me. That sounds like heaven to me. Just like that, just like so. Look at that presentation. That just looks beautiful. To me, that looks, that, that, that to me, that's food with some green in there, some orange, you know. Uh, it's going to look absolutely fantastic. So anyway, back to the, back to the cutting. So you take your squash like so. I think I got a, one more in there. Oh, I like that. You know what, myself, I like the end pieces, but the wife probably won't. So we're not going to use those. So we'll take these. And we'll place them. Now I have a line, uh, a tin foil, a foiled, um, not um, I, I, there's a foiled pan. Uh, it's easy for cleanup. So I throw these down. And I'll spread them all evenly here and make them look. Get some space to all oh, look at that. Those are gonna cook absolutely fantastic. Okay, so now what I do with that is myself, chili powder. Now you say really chili powder? Actually, first we're gonna add the extra virgin olive oil. You always want to do that. that. That's something that you really want to do. It just adds flavor to it. Gives it that really nice. It just adds the flavor to it. Okay, so now you take your chili powder. So let me stop. You want to be fairly liberal too. I myself, I like chili powder. My wife, well, she's either gonna like it or she's not. I'm hoping to prove her wrong. This is what this is about. It's all about proving that woman wrong. Why? Well, you'll see when you meet her. She is my biggest supporter and the one woman that can push me to the brink of madness. Love her to death. Don't would not change her for the world. She is my everything. 
Oh, that's going to be delicious. Look at that, people. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that looks. Oh. Oh, you know what? I'm going to ground some pepper on there, too. I'm going to ground some pepper. Why? Because I can. Why? Because I'm a crook. Why? Because it's what I do. Now, what you do is you preheat the oven at 475 degrees. And you let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour now. These are these are fairly thin. I only did about an inch, inch each one. So I'm going to put them in for 45 minutes. And I'm going to show you. They're going to be absolutely fantastic when they're done. So, so remember that's 45 minutes at 450 degrees. And preheat your oven. Always preheat your oven. You know. And also thing I wanted to tell you with pork. Uh, pork, you really want to let, let it cool. Uh, let it... So say you have it in the freezer, you want it to thaw, and you want it about room temperature when you cook it. Um, pork is really, you know, you'll find, it just cooks evenly, it, it makes it all moist and tender. Um, it's fantastic. So I took my, um, my garlic, diced those up, put these away. Over here. Now for my carrots, what I did was I cut them in three. Make sure you have, well these are actually, this is a short carrot, so I cut it in two. Now to make sure you have a sharp knife and to make a stay, because this is pretty, pretty, pretty unreliable, right? So you're going to want to cut just, just a little bit off so you can have a flat surface to work on. And you know, always keep your fingers away. That way, you know, I always find, I, I can cut really fast. And I says, how do you cut so fast? I said, well, I keep my fingers right out of the way. They're not, they're here. You know, my knife never goes any higher than my fingers. Now, what I do with these that Juliet them is, is I cut them. Now, I'm saying Juliet as if I know something. I don't. Uh, I could be even right, right, wrong. But you're cooking with crooks. You're not cooking with smart people, now, are you? You see my friend? You see my friend in there, right? He's in there. He's in there. All right. So I'll cut my carrots up like so. I even use these little guys, and I, I, I'm cheap. I like to save a dollar. End off there. Cut nice and straight. I'm not sure if I can give you the best view here. I'm left handed, eh? That's, uh, must be difficult for you guys to watch. Because <laughs> it's not difficult for me, but for someone to watch, uh, I'm probably hiding half the carrot half the time, but that's okay. That's my wife's favorite green. Hide the carrot. Ah, LOL, right? If, I, if it was texting. Anywho, okay, so I'll chop my carrots up. These are fantastic. These are looking, this looking fantastic. So I've done that. I've already had, I've had these cut for a while now. Uh, I've been waiting, because I don't want to cook them too soon. Um, I want to make sure, because I have to cook them, everything together. It's all got to blend, right? Okay, so, and then we're going to this onion. Take the outer skin off. Now I learned, I, I've been watching stuff on YouTube and uh, just trying to get a, a better handle on how to cut stuff and you know, I really hate crying. So here's, I learned this little trick here. You, you just come down about three quarters of the way through your, I went a bit deep on that one, but. All right, pull them together. Probably not safe, but it gets the job done. All right. And then what I did is I just and they're all same size, so it's going to be the same texture. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. All right. So that's what I've done. That's the prep work, and so far I've actually cooked some. Uh, pork chops. Hang on here. Let me get a. Let me get you in this spot. All right. So I've cooked some pork chops. I got these bad boys cooking right here. I, I've had them cooking. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let them rest for a few minutes, and I'm going to dice those up as well uh, into sizes. You know, so, uh, just bite-sized bites that I can. You know, when I mix with the rice and fry it all together. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry 
up these carrots. And the reason why I'm frying the carrots up because I want them to be semi, you know, semi, uh, semi hard, but not too soft. So when I cook it with the rice, it all kind of just comes together and it's like the same texture. It's going to be really delicious. It's going to be kind of crunchy-ish. Um, it crunchy ish. I don't even know if that's a word, people. I don't even know if that's a word. All I know is I got crook in the cupboard, and my old lady's on me, and she's gonna come here and she's gonna try this stuff. I'm just gonna blow her mind. That's gonna blow her mind, and I can't wait to blow her mind because I love her. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to let the meat rest and regroup, and when I get back, we will deal with chopping of the meat, then the final. Uh, what she all looks like done, and the wife should be here, and we should have our way with her. Why? Because we're going to prove her wrong. Food, not decoration. Food, not decoration. Food, not decoration. Food, not decoration. Why was it buying a spot in a supermarket? Because it's food, people. Squash is food. When, you know what she said to me one day? She says, <coughs> oh, that was good. You know what she says to me one day? She says, Oh, I want you to make me this. I says, oh, what's that, baby? And she shows me a squash, and it, it's spaghetti squash. So I said, oh, that's squash. She says, no, that's spaghetti. I said, read it, sweetheart. Spaghetti squash. Guess what? I was right. I was right that time. Prove her wrong. Why? Because when you see what she gets here, boy, that girl is on me. She is on me. She wants to. And I can't wait to prove that woman wrong. Oh, and you guys want, men, you're, come on, you're on my side. You know it, men, with me, women, come on, come on, join me. You got, I, I was right, right? Come on, come on. She's hard on me. I love her. Uh, she gets great meals out of me. Why? Because I got to prove her wrong. This is how we do it. I love her to death. She loves me. There's no better camaraderie than the one other than your spouse. There's nothing better than, than seeing her smile and making, making dreams happen. All right, enough fun, sappy bullshit. Let's do this, Cooking with Crooks. We'll be back. Oh, we're still taping. <laughs> we're still taping. <laughs> Where's my head do that all the time? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I'm nuts. I'm nuts. Look how beautiful that looks. Come on. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Meat's cooling. Looking good. I'm going to do some cleanup. And we're going to get this show happening. Do some cleanup and we're good to go. Cooking with crooks, man. I'm glad you're here. I wish it, you know what? I wish you could, I had a better camera because then I could show you outside. And the view I have outside is absolutely stunning at nighttime. And there's always something going on in the sky. If you watch those stars, there's something going on. Straight funny fact. Here's a fact. Get this into your head. If you watch a squirrel long enough, it's either raping or being raped. True fact. True fact. Second of all, there's a chipmunk. Second of all, well here, hold on, I'll tell you the story when the wife gets home. Yeah, cause she'll have something to say about this chipmunk bullshit. We'll see what she's got to say. Cook a little crooks, man. With that fucking asshole, he's around. He better be, oh, he's gonna get me. All right, cook a little crooks, we'll be back, thanks.